So one of the biggest announcements this year at NAB 2017 is the Sony A9, a complete photography game changer. So let's check it out and see if it lives up to all the hype. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Thick Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB in the Sony booth, and I'm so pumped because I have my hands on the brand new A9. This is a pre-release model, not even out yet. And this camera is really a game changer for pro photography. Now, normally on this channel, we talk about, you know, the tools for creators, usually on a budget. This really isn't that. This is definitely a pro-level camera. And right off the bat, this camera body alone comes in at $45. $500 USD. But why? Why would it command that kind of price point? Well, let's just talk about some of the specs. First of all, it's really kind of a sports wildlife type of camera. And the reason why is it can shoot 20 frames per second as far as photos. That's 20 photos in a row. It can do exposure and autofocus on every single photo. And because it's a mirrorless camera, it can actually do that silent. So normally when you would hear a camera shoot, right, you'd have the G -g 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 noise. So it can literally do 20 frames a second silent, which is a complete like the closest camera in other brands, usually is around 12, and that's amazing. A lot of kind of budget point and shoot or rather DSLR cameras are a lot of times six or seven or eight. So 20 is insane. You also have 693 autofocus points. That's over 93% of the image and the sensor. So that means it can pull autofocus almost anywhere. Super crazy. It really isn't meant for video. And so this is really a photography camera. And one reason why is they actually don't include S-Log. So for those looking for, could this be a great video shooter? You might want to stick with the A7S II or the A7R II, uh, but on, it does actually still shoot great video. It does have a headphone jack. It has a mic jack. You have dual SD card slots. And then a couple of the things that are immediately noticeable, the eyepiece itself is super bright and super beautiful. For a mirrorless camera, the image needs to be created digitally. And so the eyepiece looks great. The screen on the back looks amazing. And of course, it's a full frame camera. And a couple other things and that you get here is you get things like the PC sync and the ethernet cable, which is definitely a pro photographer feature, right? So if you're shooting the Olympics or pro sports and you wanna just drop those photos straight into a workflow so people can edit them and post them. You've got all of that there. And so all in all, it's super cool to get our hands on this camera. Something that as I think about, I heard a few stories and photographers shooting literally said like, it was like being a kid again. Like the autofocus was such an experience. The people that have tested it out here at NAB saying things like the video itself, even though it's not meant for video, the video is absolutely amazing. And also one of the things that's interesting is normally when you shoot a camera, even looking through the viewfinder of a DSLR, you get a black uh, interruption every time because the mirror opens and it interrupts the photo and then it goes back away and you can see the image again. So in a way you actually don't see the picture you just took. That is not the case with the A9 because it's mirrorless. You actually, it's just taking the photos, but you're seeing the image the whole time. And so some of the pros have been reporting that you get to experience things while you're taking the photos because you're not being interrupted by those uh, shutters. So super, super cool. Or of course, link up all the details in the description below about the A9 so you can check them out. It's going to be released full on the market May 25th and uh, something we're excited about. And I hope to get my uh, hands on a model to go take it out in the field and shoot some shots soon. Question of the day. What do you think about the Sony A9? What do you think about all of these specs? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe. You can click right here for more videos just like this. You can also check out the complete playlist of all of our coverage from NAB as well. We'll link that up in the description as well. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.